I wanted to practice carving with something simple and I've been wanting to make a plain wood business card holder. I thought this would be an easy first project. It's not that I don't carve, I do, but I'm usually carving, uh, cutting out fractured wood and inserting a new measured piece in its place. I actually really like doing that. But I've never taken just a plain piece of wood and made something out of it in a carving. So I found a piece of what I believe is birch. It's pale, has nice straight fibers, which are good for, especially for a beginner, um, to be able to carve out in a few tiny knots. It's really just a scrap piece that I was using for repair on another project. I don't have a lot of carving tools. And I'd love to have some spoon scoops. I think that's what they're called. Though that wouldn't have helped me much here. I needed to make a gently curved rut in this wood, enough to pull the cards and keep them from falling in either direction, snug enough to so that they would stay upright, in other words. So here I just made a few straight lines um, with enough of probably 10 or 15 cards to sit in. Um, and I, I just based it loosely on the size of the card that I have there. It's actually an old business card. Now part of this challenge was actually getting that little piece of wood snug down with a clamp and comfortable in a comfortable position for me to carve it out. I, I just had a really hard time getting it in a logical place so that I could manipulate it. So I kept moving it back and forth and I used a couple of different size um, cutting tools here.
here you can see on the left hand side where I nicked off that piece that I didn't want to. I have a few different tips for this Dremel tool, but I'm not sure what to call them. The one that I'm using here is another type of... It's actually a stone, like a, a little um, a grinding stone of a sort. Um, I wish I had some different tips, but I'm going to have to look into it and get a better variety of tips for the tool. You can see here that I'm gluing in the piece, <laughs> the piece that I chipped out accidentally, and it worked out okay. Here's another type of uh, bit or tip for the uh, Dremel tool. Still not quite right though. What I'm trying to do is deepen one half of that rug so that one side has a little bit straighter edge than the other side. I want one side curved and the other side somewhat straight. Now, I mean, it was, I just went back and forth and back and forth with different grinding tips until I kind of smoothed that out as well as I could. If anyone has any thoughts or knowledge about some of these Dremel tool tips, please leave it in the comment for me and for anybody else who's interested. I did two coats of shellac and sanded it with 240. It doesn't have a great finish on the bottom, but I'm not really going to worry about that. It's just like kind of a first try and I just wanted to see how it would turn out. So I'm going to do a couple more coats of shellac and some light sanding and then put some stain on. I'll do it off camera though. I really like this color, but you'll see at the end, it's not really going to take that well. Birch is kind of tough to stain. And although this color looks really pretty, it's just not really going to stay on. Hey there. What's the young lady? How you doing? Oh, my right. No.
So here's where the mistake starts to happen. What I should have done, thinking back on it, is after the oil stain dried, I should have just sprayed some shellac over it before I put my second oil on, because when I put on the Howard's Feed and Wax, it just removed the stain. Um, so, live and learn. Next time I do something like that, I'll remember what happened with this one. Um, shellac should help that from, you know, one oil seeping to the next, so you put a little bond between them. You can see that the end grains are the only sections that have absorbed that stain and held it. All the other parts of the little card holder have lost their color.
<laughs> really uh, is. Okay. I just want to get this down there.